the last 36 hours, I guess, been like for you guys? And, and what was your feeling when you when you heard the news originally? Uh, I was shocked, but at the same time, like it was only a matter of time. Like we, uh, it was a a big like unknown cloud over everybody. Like we were having a bad season, and everybody, all the fans, seemed like they wanted it to happen, and it just it finally happened. So I mean, now we just got to move forward, and we can't dwell on it. What was the mood in the team meeting with Vince Jarrett? Uh, I say it was a I say it was a positive. We all had positive attitudes, and uh, we support his decision, and. Uh, I felt like he was kind of in there like a coach. Like I, I, res I respect him and I, uh, I like him. Gigi, for you, you, you lose your position coach and your head coach, and now it's going to be a guy who's a head coach going to be your position coach. What, what was that like? Did you get a chance to talk to LD at all? I know a couple guys did as he was walking out. Uh, I did not get to talk to LD. I saw, I mean, uh, I heard a few players saw him on his way out, but I did not. And yeah, so he doesn't have the same phone anymore, so it's not like to talk to him anyway. So. I, I did not get a chance. What do you think there is that people don't know about this team? You lose games and people assume things about players and teams. What would you tell people about this group of guys and, and how you're going about business regardless of coach? Uh, I say that uh, not every year not every year you're going to have the best team ever. Like we, we played well my first few years here. We were always pretty good. And one year we were really good. but. Not every single year is going to be uh, your best year ever, but you got to be able to learn. You got to be able to take the wins with the losses and be able to learn from it all. What would you say to people that, I mean, not just the losses, but the size of the losses? That's what had people alarmed that you guys weren't competitive in so many games. Why was that the case? Uh, I could not tell you, but uh, we lost. We're 2 and 8. We can't go back. And like uh, Coach Ward has been saying, let's, we, we have a two game season now. Let's try to go 2 and 0. Oh. That's all, that's all we can do. What, what do you like about Coach Ward and what gives you confidence moving forward that he's going to be able to write the ship in these two weeks? I like Coach Ward because Coach Ward is on the defense side of the ball, so I always I always deal with Coach Ward, but I like him. He's uh, He always has a positive attitude, like D said, and uh, he'll get on you. He'll tear you down, but one thing about him, he'll always bring you back up afterwards, so that's the one thing I like about him. What was your reaction with uh, when you heard some of the comments from Vince Tyree saying that you know he didn't think you guys' effort was there? What was your reaction to that? Um, Anybody can turn the film on and see that not everybody's out there giving 100% effort, and I feel like that may come with that may come from uh, losing. Of course, losing uh, is contagious, but also effort is contagious. So, if people see me and D giving maximum effort, then hopefully they're gonna feed off of us, and that's what we need to do these past these next two weeks. You being one of the veteran guys, what would your message to the fans be for the last two weeks? I would just say, uh, still come out and support us. Uh, the fans, it seems like a lot of the fans wanted this to happen and they got what they wanted and now hopefully that they can still be uh, on our side and uh, and come out and support us. Can you shed a little light on the players' relationship with Coach Petrino? I mean, like, did he have an open door? Was he approachable? Just sort of that whole back and forth. I'd say Coach Petrino was approachable. I only can speak for myself. Uh, Coach Petrino, like me, I never had a problem with Coach P. I like Coach P. Uh, me and him had a good relationship, so... I only can speak for myself. What, what do you expect these, or what do you hope for these these last two weeks, maybe morale-wise? Um, I mean, it, it, and what was the low point with this team in terms of the losing and the margins? Uh, like y'all say, the margins. I've never, I never in my life have been beat like that. I mean, I, I've been I've been beat, but I've never like it's always been competitive. So, what I need, what I want to really would do in these last two games is at least be competitive. We need to be go out there and be competitive and try our hardest to get a win. You said a couple of times that the fans got what they wanted. Did, did you guys, did it make you mad some of the reaction you were hearing during the season, or what was your reaction when you said the fans got it? I don't really pay attention to all of it. I mean, I I may see if it, I see it on Twitter or something, but it goes through one ear and out the other. I don't really pay no attention to it. But how, how do you know that that's what they wanted, though, I guess is what I'm saying. You, could, you got the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi, you guys have talked about making this week like any other, just preparing to play on Saturday. With everything that's gone on, is that hard? And and does it does it seem like does it seem crazy that you have at the end of this week you have a, another game to play with everything that's gone on? I don't think it makes it hard at all. Uh, yesterday we had dinner up here. We had it was just a good atmosphere up there. Uh, all the coaches none of the coaches never really eat dinner with us, but all the coaches were up there ate dinner with us. Even uh, Mr. Tyree was up there which is big like your AD comes to your dinner and eats child. That's big. 
So it was just an atmosphere change, and I feel like everybody has a positive attitude. And honestly, like I said, I just want to go one and zero this week, and we have a two game season, and that's how I look at it. You mentioned Twitter. How, how does social media affect how this all went down? And, and if you could log all your teammates off social media, would you do that? I mean, what, how, how do you how do you handle that as a team leader as well? I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like sometimes people say things they shouldn't on social media, but. Uh, we don't have a rule against uh, social media, and people are allowed to say what they want. So, was Coach Petrino different at all this year? Is there something that you can pinpoint? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you anything different. All right. Good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.